Hi all, welcome to Anjan GCP Data Engineering. So this is a continuation video to our uh, previous video. In our previous conceptual video, we have seen how to choose different Google Cloud Platform storage and database services, okay, for the given use case and scenario based on the format of the data and the type of the data, okay. So now in this video, we will see some sample questions uh, these are similar to your actual external GCP certification exam questions and we'll try to apply our knowledge with the help of our uh, decision tree diagram which we have seen our earlier video and we'll test our knowledge okay and we'll review all the questions and uh, we'll try to select the appropriate answer for the given scenario and the use case. We'll go to the sample questions and we'll try to apply our knowledge okay so this is our first questions okay so here one important note as i explained in our previous video so the answers would be a single select or multi select here it is multi select they have clearly mentioned select two correct answers for this question okay now let us read this question as a data engineer you need to know what storage and database options you should use in different use cases select all true statements that means there are two correct options available out of these four options okay uh, let us read all these options one by one okay the first option for in memory data storage with low latency you should use cloud storage is this the correct option let us go to our flow diagram okay here if you see this is a google cloud storage service so you can usually select this service for unstructured and structured data use cases. It is basically blob storage that is object storage at scale, right? And you can store data in different storage classes, okay? And you can even store structured and unstructured data. You can even apply object lifecycle management rules, okay? But in this question, so they say in memory data storage with low latency. So these two concepts or features are not at all related to the cloud storage so that means you can ignore this option okay now let us read the second option if you need interactive querying in an online analytical processing system that is olap you should use bigquery yeah if you go to the diagram once again here bigquery comes under this analytical storage services so you can even query data interactively using sql and you can query very huge data that means petabyte scale data okay with second latency so definitely this is comes under olap use cases okay that means this is the correct options we have okay this is one option you can select now let us go to the third option if you need full sql support for an online transaction processing system that is oltp you should use cloud spanner or cloud sql right these two are relational databases completely suits for oltp use cases if you go back to our diagram right so here under structured data transactional use cases these two are the services you can use with sql capability right so here they have clearly mentioned you need full sql support that means this is a correct option you can select this option now let us go to the last option that is fourth option if you need to store highly structured objects in document database with support for acid transactions and sql -like queries you should use bigtable okay so all these features are related to bigtable or not let us examine our diagram okay if you see all these features are not related to the big table if you see these are related to the google cloud data store this is a document db where you can store document type database with highly scalability and also it provides sql queries and acid transaction so big table is for the different use case this is for structured analytical use cases that too with no sql okay so that means this is not the correct answer you can ignore this so so this is how you will have to relate all these options with your question and you have to concentrate on keys like sql support right 
he has mentioned SQL like queries like here right and also acid rules it should support acid rules but they have given it as a big table which is not correct okay so now we'll move on to the next question okay so here let us read this question okay then we'll try to select the appropriate answer for this okay a data science team has collected csv files with a total size of 80 gb okay they plan to store this data on google cloud platform and use compute engine instances to perform data analysis using python and pandas library okay which gcp storage service should you recommend for storing these csv files first of all csv files csv files means structured data okay that to total size of 80 gb okay and uh, they want to use compute instance okay to install python and pandas to analyze this data okay now let us go to the options cloud storage can we use cloud storage to store structured data yes okay you can store structured and unstructured data in cloud storage based on the requirement okay so this is one possible answer a possible solution okay so now let us review other options also then we'll arrive at final answer okay our final option okay big table so big table is a no sql database and that to store very huge amount of data minimum 100 t terabytes of data okay so i think we can ignore big table in this case because we have only 80 gb of data that to csv file okay so you can ignore big table in that case okay so third option is bigquery uh, bigquery is one solution to store your csv files in the form of table or external table definitely it will support this much size of data that is 80 gb but the problem is they wanted to use python and pandas to analyze this data as you know with bigquery you can use sql to perform your analysis but here they they have clearly mentioned they wanted to use python and panda so that means you can ignore bigquery option also cloud data store this is to store your document type db but here it is csv file you can even ignore this option so in this case the cloud storage is the correct option so you, you can ignore remaining options comfortably okay so we'll move to the last question okay in our video this is a bit tricky and you need to have a thorough knowledge okay about the given scenario and you need to have a very balanced practical and also theoretical knowledge to answer this question okay so first we'll read this question and then we'll try to understand the options given and then we'll arrive at the correct possible solution for this given scenario okay here they say that a company needs to prepare storage for json files that means they wanted to store json data for a data pipeline they wanted to support json files which occasionally changing schema and run aggregated sql queries on top of the data what should you advise them okay so they wanted to store json files and schema is not stable that means it is occasionally changing and they wanted to even run sql queries okay now let us carefully read options one by one and then we'll decide which is the correct or best option for this given question okay so the first option is they should use cloud storage for storage and link data as a temporary table in bigquery and use schema auto detect okay is this a possible solution yes this is a possible solution because you can store file or data in google cloud storage and you can create a external table in bigquery using this auto detect schema option okay for this we have already uploaded a video on this concept just go through this video here i have clearly explained so i have explained this in three different scenarios here we have an example for even json data right we have a json data in google cloud storage and we have created an external table with auto detect schema using cli commands okay i hope this will help you okay okay this that means this is one possible solution okay now some people what they will do they think that this is correct answer and they don't want to read even other options before going to the next question they will just select this and they will move on okay so don't do that okay 
just try to read even other options also because there could be multiple possible solutions given as options okay you need to select the best possible solution for the given scenario okay so this is that type of question okay now go to the second question okay they should use big table for storage and use schema auto detect simply you can ignore this option because big table is a no sql database you can't use sql queries okay simply you can ignore this okay now here they should use cloud storage for storage and link data as a permanent table in bigquery there is no such feature available because there is only one feature available where you can create an external table on top of google cloud storage data but here they say that link data as a permanent table where this is not possible okay you can ignore this now go to the fourth option they should use bigquery for storage and use schema auto detection is it possible yes it is possible that means they are asking us to load this data as a permanent table in bigquery right instead of external table we can create this table as a permanent table okay so this is also one possible solution now you have to select the correct answer from these two left out options okay so now again just carefully read this question okay here they wanted to run aggregated sql queries so using external table you can execute SQL queries obviously with native table also you can do that but when you use external table usually external table query performance will be lower than your native table query performance this is true in any other database also because the data not available in the bigquery storage itself this is available in the google cloud storage right but they wanted to run not only simple queries they wanted to run aggregated SQL right aggregated means there are some aggregated function available right it can be a group by it can be average it can be a sum it can be a count for those kind of queries definitely if you use external table performance will be degraded here this is the best possible option for this question this is a native table you can even execute aggregated queries right with better performance okay that means this is a correct option you will have to ignore this option because this is a single select option if it would have been a multi select option if they say that try to run simple sql queries then you would have selected these two options but here it is a single select and they have clearly mentioned run aggregated sql that's why we have to go for this option so this is how they will trick you in the exam you should have very thorough theoretical knowledge and also practical knowledge to answer these type of questions okay so try to make your personal notes and also rely on uh, cheat sheets okay and also some kind of flow charts okay and some kind of decision tree diagrams like this so that it will basically help you to save your time in google cloud data engineer external certification okay i hope definitely this will help you Okay, that's it for this video. We will meet in the next video.